Jamie, uh, another one year deal with an Athletic signed. You must be pleased that you've committed your future to the club. Yeah, you know, we, we set a goal last season to go here and get promoted and collectively we've done it and in, individually I've took my part of that so you know I've been rewarded with a, another year contract and you know I'm absolutely over the moon to be here in the Championship. Skybet Championship does bring an exciting challenge doesn't it for us as well? Yeah it's, you know, it's a difficult league, it's a big jump you know and we know that and you know I'm sure we'll go up there and get the plays we need and the plays we've got and you know we'll push on and you know aim to finish as high as we can. You spoke when you first signed about the appeal of working with the manager, the staff here and stuff. I uh, guess that very much remains the case now you've spent the year with them as well. Yeah, you know, when I came, I didn't work with them before, but I was excited about it. And having the last 12 months with them, you know, you know, exceeded all my expectations. You know, it was absolutely unbelievable. Uh, that's why we finished where we did, 19 points. And, you know, we broke a lot of records on that way. Um, so as a team and together as, as a club, you know, it's only one way this club go, and that's definitely us. You speak about the records, you played a big part in one of them, or a couple of them, relating to the defence, the clean sheet record. It was a, a special sort of relationship between you and Christian, pushing each other on, and when you were in, I think it was nine, ten clean sheets when you were in. It's not very often, actually, you keep that many clean sheets in such a short period and then find yourself yeah. out of the team, but you pushed each other on. Yeah, you know, we did, and, you know, we've got a great relationship, me and Chris, and I think that's what worked well. You know, obviously, you weren't here when he was injured and I was in, so I just had to, you know, push myself, and, you know, I had, you know, Matthew here at the time, pushing for the spot, and, you know, I'm old enough and professional enough to go in and do my job. You know, I wanted to stay in the team longer, but the injury came at a bad time, a good time for Christian, but when he was in, we pushed ourselves, and we, you know, we got to that 26 clean sheets and, you know, as a club record and everything for us all, you know, it's not just us two, it's it's the defence, the defence in front of us with Sammy and Max and everything's brilliant, the way we play, the way we control the games, the way the manager sets it out, it's a collective thing and we, we all deserve it. Hopefully more clean sheets next season and, and your goalkeeping coach Nick Colgan, I know we spoke to yourself and Christian briefly about him before, it's been a massive impact from him as well, hasn't he? He was like a proud dad when you got the record, uh, having photos with you both and stuff. Yeah, yeah he, you know, he's made up. You know, he, he's one of the nicest people you meet in football and he's professional and he gets the, you know, his work is, you know, outstanding and, you know, you know, his hard work comes across onto the pitch and that's why we get, we get records like we did last year and I'm sure that's going to carry on next season with, with the work we do with, with Nick. You know, the other goalkeepers that are going to be here, wherever that may be, is, is going to, you know, real be impressed by the training, by the, the way we set out and the way we go about things. And I'm sure, you know, we'll be pushing again next season. Record-breaking campaign ended with some pretty special celebrations. Just how have you found the last few weeks? Obviously, we had at Doncaster winning the league, the party in the park, and then you guys been away as well. Must have been a pretty hectic period. It is, yeah. You know, you celebrate it, you celebrate it good. But, you know, when we'd done it at Fleetwood, we, we celebrated it, you know, good, but we'd done it professionally. You know, that was important that we wanted to win the league. We, we were able to do that. But after the Doncaster one, it's, you know, it's just the best memories that will stick with you, you know, forever. Promotion's the best thing. Lucky enough, it's my second time. Some people don't get to do it. Some people do it a lot. Gary Roberts, he's a faff. <laughs> you know, he's one of the lucky ones. But, you know, it's been brilliant. We've all been away. We celebrated in Las Vegas together, you know, and had, you know, unbelievable time there and the, the bonding was massive and hopefully that kept, well, it will carry on for the next season. It is important you do that though, isn't it? Because it's really intense for sort of eight, nine months here, working hard, you're in four, five, six days a week and when you get that at the end of the season, it's important you just get some time away, you know, as a group and then with your families and stuff. Yeah, you know, it's, it is tough and it's, it's long. People think it's easy sometimes, you know, we're only in you know, nine o'clock till two o'clock in the afternoon and that, but it's, you know, it's, it's a long 10 month hard season, travelling up and down the country playing in big games, trying to, you know, win points for your team and to, to come, you know, at the end of that season so successful, you know, you do celebrate it, even if it's, you know, a, a one-off season and you finish mid-table or whatever, you still celebrate a good season because, you know, it, it's hard, so together as a team, you always need to get that off your back. And then you've had a couple of weeks away, do you start to miss it a little bit there? You know, you miss everything. You miss the, the your fitness, your general fitness side of it, and all things like that. You know, you like just general training. Training for me is, you know, unbelievable. It's one of the best things in football. It's, you know, going off that training pitch every day is unbelievable. Uh, we all do it, but you always miss the lads, the banter, and all that. You know, you have great times with your family and relaxing times away. But you know, I'm sure every single one of us can't wait to get back to pre-season.